It was a show of strength, of defiance and anger The target Chicago's busiest shopping street on the busiest shopping day of the year. Hundreds of protesters demanding justice, demanding change after the killing of black teenager Laquan McDonald by a white police officer. At the front, veteran civil rights leader Jesse Jackson. It's not just the guy who shot him. The, the nine who watched it didn't try to stop him. Didn't try to stop him. And also, they did not report what had happened. So that's, that's the culture, that, that's the blue, blue code of silence that protect each other. And, and, and makes them less able to be credible. We need a new police infrastructure and culture. The 17-year-old was shot 16 times by one police officer. Video of his death was released the day the officer, Jason Van Dyke, was charged with murder. That was this week, 13 months after the incident. Demonstrators wanted to blockade stores on what's known as the Magnificent Mile, a stretch of high-end designer stores in the heart of Chicago. It's a sign of the deep-seated anger in the communities in and around Chicago that on a cold, wet day there is normally a holiday for many. Hundreds and hundreds of people have come out onto the street to demand change in the police service in Chicago and the way that their complaints are being handled. We want justice. Simple as that. I mean, they're killing the innocent people and they don't have to. That doesn't make sense for anybody. We're marching for justice and to stop the police terror that's been shooting down young black people in Chicago. Famous names found human chains blocking their doors. Customers turned away, staff trapped inside. Losses for the stores in the tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. We're going to stop the money, the revenue, which hurts dearly to the city and to the state to show them that this going to hurt them in the long run. No justice, no peace. In places, managers tried to keep the doors open, but eventually had to admit defeat. The protests, loud, angry and peaceful, are the latest over the death of a black man at the hands of the police in the United States. Those behind this show of political and economic strength say there'll be more and insist there has to be change in the culture of policing in Chicago and across America. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Chicago.